Hi there, I'm Hayden from MemberSpace. In this video, I'll walk you through how to build a library of digital content like templates, documents, and other resources on your WordPress website. Together, we'll go over how to create your content library on your website, structure your pages, protect your content library pages with MemberSpace, and accept payments for those resources on your website. In this first section, we'll discuss how to build your content library on your WordPress website. You'll want to start with these four types of pages. A sales page, a members only homepage, category pages, and product pages. Now, I'm going to walk through a template that our team has put together to show you how this might look on your website. I've also attached this wireframe in the description of the video so you can download it for free and use it on your own site. Here's how you might want to structure your sales page. You can share a preview of the different types of resources in your content library, like videos, graphics, or podcast episodes. You can also share pricing information with some call to actions to create an account or start a free trial. If I click member access, it'll take me to the members only homepage. This is the first page customers will see when they sign up for your content library and to display all of the content categories that you're offering. How you decide to organize your categories is totally up to you. You might have content broken up by document type or format, by goal, or by topic. If I click on one of the categories, it'll take me to a page that showcases all of the resources within a particular category. For example, if this is a videos category, customers would be able to click on any of my videos and watch them on demand. And finally, if I click on the resource that I want to view, it will take me to an individual product page that, for that resource that allows me to view or download it. You can also link your category pages to external links like Canva templates. Once you've gotten all your pages set up, it's time to install MemberSpace. First, open up WordPress and go to the plugin section in the menu on the left. Search for MemberSpace and click the plugin. Next, click Install and Activate. Keep in mind, you'll need to be signed up for the WordPress Creator plan to install the plugin. From there, click the Manage Plugin button. Then, click Configure Settings at the top. Finally, click Create Your Account. I'll walk you through how to use MemberSpace to restrict access to your content library pages and accept payments on your website next. After creating your MemberSpace account, you'll start by adding some details about your website. Once you get to this products page, you're going to be protecting the website pages that house your content library resources. You'll select content library, give it a name, add an emoji if you'd like, and then add the URLs for the pages that you want to be protected. I'm going to add content library forward slash asterisk, which means that all of my pages filed under that URL will be protected. You can also protect individual pages if that works better for how you've set up your content library. Then click next and it's time to connect to Stripe. This step takes just a few minutes and it's easy to create a new Stripe account if you don't have one yet. Once you've connected to Stripe, it's time to pick a price for your content library. Recurring payment is the most popular option for content and resource libraries, but you can pick between any of the options here. Then you'll determine how much to charge for your content library, how often, what date of the month you want to charge, and if you want to offer a free trial. Under which products can be accessed, be sure to check off the name of your content library. Finally, you'll want to add in the URL of your members only homepage here so that customers are redirected there when they log in or sign up and pay for your content. Now that you've connected your website, protected your content library, and set up your pricing, simply click verify install. So what does it look like on a live website when MemberSpace is installed? You'll notice a sign up and login link in the bottom right corner, making it really simple for anyone to create an account and pay. And if I click get started, I'll see another sign up form. And finally, if I try to access any of my protected pages, I'll get a pop up that doesn't allow me to go any further until I log in or sign up. And just like on this site, you can customize your login and sign up forms and buttons to match your branding. And that's it. You're ready to build your very own content library on your WordPress website. 
At any point, you can use MemberSpace to add more resources to your library, as well as sell additional digital products like online courses, podcasts, newsletters, and private community access. If you have any questions at all, let us know.